Well, love it or hate it, it is the season, so we are making pumpkin spice liqueur. So this is actually a three for one episode. We're gonna make a pumpkin spice whiskey. We're then gonna make a pumpkin spice syrup and then combine the two to make a pumpkin spice liqueur. Yeah, three recipes in one video. How awesome is that? So we're gonna use Lot 40, which is a Canadian rye whiskey, an amazing whiskey. We're gonna infuse it with pumpkin and some spices, the aforementioned pumpkin spices. So let's get to it. First thing we're gonna do, of course, is, well, have ourselves a dram of whiskey. So Lot 40, it's a great cane whiskey. Uh, you can use any whiskey here, a bourbon would be great, but uh, I like rye. Um, nice spices, gonna play well with the pumpkin spice. We're gonna start with one kind of sugar pie pumpkin. This is the same pumpkins you use to make pie. Grab your biggest knife and we're gonna cut it. Note to self, sharpen your knives. <laughs> it's a little blunt. These are uh, not easy to cut through, but my goodness, a sharper knife would do probably better here. So we're gonna start by cutting the pumpkin in half. Come on, get through that bottom, there you go. Then we want to grab a spoon and, I mean, if you've carved pumpkins, you know the drill. Uh, we're gonna scoop out all that goop inside. If you've ever made pumpkin pie or if you've ever made carved a pumpkin, it's the same process, just a smaller pumpkin. All right, we don't need any of those seeds. You could keep them, toast them, it makes a delicious snack, but we don't care for that today. We just want the pumpkin flesh. Get it all out. All right, so now we're gonna cut these into quarters. I really need to sharpen that knife. Another one into a quarter. So we need one full pumpkin here. Okay, and now we're gonna cut it into strips because what we're doing here is we're gonna dehydrate this. So about like that. That's a good size strip. Odin, come on. Here. Oh, good boy. Makes a great snack for dogs. Dogs love pumpkin. Okay, so about that. So I'm gonna speed up the video here and we're just gonna slice away until we've got that approximate size of our entire pumpkin. So what we wanna do is we're gonna dehydrate it. So we want that pumpkin flavor, but we don't want that excess moisture. So I'm just gonna put them in my oven, but if you have a dehydrator, uh, that would work great. But oven on lowest setting is all you're gonna need here. So I'm cutting them up, almost done. Here, another one for Odin. I actually decided to cut them in half length. So there we go. Come on now, all right. So once we got that, let's move all our pumpkin pieces here. Move that aside, we're gonna get a sheet pan. No, another drink of whiskey. So cookie sheet, we've got a, uh, a rack on there. And then we're just gonna place these on the rack. And then we're gonna bring them to our oven. And like I said, lowest possible setting. My oven, I think the lowest setting is 175 Fahrenheit. So whatever the lowest setting is in your oven, um, set it to that. And then we're going to bake that for about five to six hours. It's a long process because we're not baking, we're dehydrating, we're just getting all the moisture out. And that's our end result right here. It gets a lot smaller. It's basically just these nice dehydrated pieces of pumpkin. So we got pumpkin, we've got peppercorns, we got star anise, we got allspice, of course we have cinnamon. All this is going into our pumpkin spice whiskey. So this is all gonna get infused with our rye whiskey. So our whole pumpkin dehydrated. I, I fed quite a few pieces to Odin, so it's not an entire pumpkin, but close enough. So get those all in the mason jar. We then want three cinnamon sticks. So just pretty long cinnamon sticks. Get those in the jar. Crack the last one, there we go. After that, we've got about a teaspoon of black peppercorns, whole peppercorns. After that, we have one teaspoon of crushed allspice. So they're just lightly crushed in a mortar and pestle. One star anise, whole. And finally, about a half a teaspoon of cloves. All right, let's get those out of the way. Last ingredient, of course, two cups of our rye whiskey. All right, and we're gonna ba we're gonna let that infuse for about one week. You could go longer. Um, after just a couple days, actually, the it was the infusion was quite strong. But after one week, I think you're good. Okay, so when the week is passed, about after that, what we need to do is make our pumpkin spice syrup. So that's what we're gonna do. So on the stove, we're gonna do three quarter cups of water. 
and then three quarter cups of brown sugar. We're basically making a brown sugar simple syrup. To that, we're gonna add a quarter cup of pumpkin puree. So this is just canned pumpkin. Um, you could have obviously baked and made your own puree, but uh, just get some pumpkin puree in there. It doesn't matter how. Don't get the pumpkin pie stuff. This is just straight 100% pumpkin because we're adding two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. You could buy it or you can make it yourself. It's basically cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice, and cloves. Uh, last ingredient will be a pinch of salt. So then we're going to let that simmer until all the sugar's dissolved, the pumpkin puree is pretty much dissolved. Um, the spices won't fully dissolve, but we're gonna strain them out later, so that's not a problem. But let it simmer for a good 10 minutes. Looking good. This stuff smells amazing. Keep it around, this is, make, make a larger batch because this stuff, if you wanna make pumpkin spice lattes, <laughs> put them in your coffee, make a latte, it's amazing, it's really good. Okay, it's been a week. We need to uh, filter out our whiskey. Look how darker it's gotten. It's gotten so dark from the all those spices and stuff. Um, it filters out pretty fast. So just coffee filter in a funnel, let it, uh, let it filter through. Didn't take very long. Okay, next we have to filter our syrup. Uh, let it cool. I didn't let it fully cool, but yeah, you should probably let it cool. And we're gonna do the same process. Now this actually took a little too long through the coffee filter. So off camera, I did do it, um, I filtered it using a cheesecloth. That was faster. Uh, so do a cheesecloth, and then if you wanna filter it a second time with a coffee filter, go ahead and do that. But now we've got our final components. We have our pumpkin whiskey, and we have our pumpkin spice syrup. So we're gonna blend the two together. We're using a, well, first I'm gonna taste the whiskey here. I'm curious, so this is, Pretty good, it still has the nice rye flavor to it, but it's got an underlying pumpkin and all those spices. Um, it's pretty delicious. I don't know if I'd be drinking this neat, but it was pretty good. Okay, let's make our liqueur. So to make the liqueur, we're gonna do a three to one ratio, which is pretty standard when I make, um, when I make liqueurs, three parts of your infused spirit and one part of your syrup. So in this case, it'll be a one and a half cups of our pumpkin spice whiskey, and then half a cup of our syrup. All right, so the whiskey is in, and then let's get half a cup of that syrup. Like I said, there's extra syrup there. Don't throw that out, put that in coffee, put that in, I don't know, over pancakes, <laughs> whatever you want. It's a really good syrup, so don't, don't get rid of it. And there it is our pumpkin spice liqueur. Um, I have no idea how long this will last, but uh, it'll probably be done by the end of the month. It's delicious. Now, if I was to change one thing about this liqueur, it would be uh, removing the cloves. That's a personal preference. I'm not a huge fan of cloves. I went by kind of the research I did online to come up with this recipe, but um, if I were to make it again next year, I would probably leave out the cloves. Uh, but other than that, really good. Stay tuned guys, Friday we'll be back with three awesome cocktails using our pumpkin spice liqueur. So we'll see you then, cheers.